let's show you the steady rain that continues to fall here in San Diego Pacific Beach. The rain drops down below. Looks like there's a kite surfer that's about to go out there and uh, surf on the waves there. You can see the widespread rain on our pinpoint Doppler live impacting the entire county right now. In fact, we have a live shot from San Marcos of Query Road where it is flooded. Now this is an area that typically floods when we do get quite a bit of rain coming through. Do not drive through this. This is one of those areas that people drive through and then they get stuck and then they have to get rescued. So when you see those signs, which you can see off in the distance, do not go through them. Parts of Mission Valley and the Fashion Valley Mall are also flooded right now. So that's what we're dealing with here across the county. We're dealing with quite a bit of rain. This is in San Marcos, by the way. And as I get you back to Pinpoint Doppler Live, as we look up in the North County, San Marcos is getting some heavy rain right now. Vista, the 76, the 15, they are all impacted by rain. Ponding on the roadways, overflowing of streams and creeks that is going to continue as we head through the morning. So widespread rain, light to moderate down in the South Bay and central San Diego County. So as we head into the morning hours, we are going to continue to see things drying out as I can pull this up for you. I want to show you what we're going to be seeing as it all starts to end. There's the edge of the cold front right there. That swings through, things are gonna taper off very quickly after that, which 10 News Futurecast is doing a really good job showing the widespread rain right now. Tapering off after about one or two o'clock, it becomes more spotty, not so steady. And then for your evening commute, some wet roads, and a few showers, but that is about it. Temperatures quite, quite cool in the 50s and 40s for most of the county right now, and a few 60s out in the coastal areas. The wind's still pretty breezy, not as a huge wind event as what we saw last week, so that is some good news there. We're drying out early tomorrow morning. Temperatures stay in the 60s into next week along our coast. Inland neighborhoods will be in the 60s as well with a slight chance for a few showers Saturday and Sunday as a weaker storm comes on by. And once again, only rain this time around in the mountains.